Hi, my name is Lee, and today I'm going to guide you through a short and sweet basics yoga flow. Start by finding your comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, closing your eyes, and beginning to draw your awareness to your breath, letting the rest of the world melt away, focusing on your inhales and your exhales. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Feel free to use this time to set an intention or dedication for your practice. And then lower your hands to your knees. Take a big inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh it out. Two more, inhale through your nose, fill all the way up, and exhale, sigh it out. Last one, inhale, biggest breath, exhale, let it go. Transitioning to your ujjayi breath, inhaling through your nose, and exhaling through your nose. Making the breath audible in the back of your throat. It should sound like the waves of the ocean. And try to use this breath throughout the rest of practice. On your next inhale, reach your shoulders all the way up towards your ears. And then exhale, relax your shoulders down your back. Again, inhale, bring your shoulders all the way up. And then exhale, soften down. Again, shoulders all the way up. And relax them back down. We're going to take some shoulder rolls going back. Going at your own pace, listening to your body. And then going the other way whenever you're ready. Coming back to neutral, draw your right ear towards your right shoulder for a gentle neck stretch. And then draw your chin to your chest, bringing your left ear towards your left shoulder. And then transitioning side to side, going as fast or as slow as you'd like to. And if any spots feel especially yummy, pause there, take a full round of breath. This is your practice. Coming back to center, inhale, reach your arms up overhead, and then lower your right hand down, find a side body stretch. Really lengthen through your left pinky finger, drawing your left shoulder back, and then take it up and over to the other side, grounding your sits bones down onto your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Bringing your hands back behind you, finding a gentle back bend. Lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Release your head back if it feels safe. And then slowly transition out, walking your hands forward, finding all fours tabletop position. Taking a few rounds of cat cow. Inhale, gaze up, arch your back. And then exhale, round, press away from the mat. Again, inhale, gaze up, and then exhale, round, press. Again, inhale, exhale, round. Coming back to neutral spine, inhale your right arm up overhead, and then take some big circles with that right arm. Feel free to really move around. You can shift your weight forward and back taking those circles in the opposite direction. And then reaching your right arm back up towards the sky and lowering it down to the mat. Transitioning to the other side, reach your left arm up and then take those big circles. Really getting into the shoulder joint. And going the other way when you're complete. Reach that arm back up and lower it down to your mat. 
Finding child's pose, take your knees out wide, big toes to touch, lowering your forehead to the mat, sending your hips back, reconnect to your breath. And then on your next inhale, rise up to your tabletop pose. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up towards the sky, finding your downward facing dog. Feet hips distance apart, hand shoulder distance apart, making an inverted V with your body. Begin to walk your dog a little bit, bending and lengthening your legs, getting all your wiggles out. And then finding stillness, sending your heels down towards your mat. It's okay if they don't touch. Finding a nice stretch in the back of your legs. And then walking your feet up towards the top of your mat, keeping them hips distance. Finding a ragdoll pose. Catch a hold of opposite elbows. Sway a little bit side to side. Let your head hang heavy. Find that ujjayi breath, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Making your movements smaller and smaller until you find stillness in the center. And then drawing your fingertips to the earth, toe heel your feet together. Put a bend in your legs and then round all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. Inhaling your arms up overhead, and then exhale, swan dive down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, and then exhale, plant your hands, step back to a high plank pose. This first one, we're going to lower down onto the knees, find our low plank, and then our cobra pose, lengthen your arms. And then roll over your toes to downward dog. Again, feel free to walk it out. Move around a little bit. Gaze to the front of your mat. And then walk or jump your feet to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. And then exhale, swan dive down, fold. You can always keep a gentle bend in your knees. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to your high plank. Option to lower down onto the knees, find your low plank. Upward facing dog or cobra. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Finding your ujjayi breath. Gaze at the top of your mat. Walk or float your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up, salute the sun. And exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Option for a low plank. Upward facing dog or cobra to downward facing dog. Begin to walk your hands back to your feet. Put a gentle bend in your knees and round all the way up. Reach up with your arms and then exhale hands to heart center. Begin to shift your weight to your left foot and draw your right foot up anywhere on your left leg except your knee, finding tree pose. Feel free to take any arm variation of your choice, working your balance, finding stillness. And then drawing your hands back to heart center, relax the legs, shake it out a little bit, and then inhale, reach your arms up overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. Taking it over to the other side, shift your weight, float your right foot up, 
press your palms together. And once you feel stable, feel free to take any arm variation of your choice. You can reach them up overhead. And then drawing your hands back to heart center. Release the leg, shake it out, let it go. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, swan dive down. Walk your hands back out to your downward dog. Gaze to the top of your mat. Walk or float your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Put a bend in your knees. Rise up, chair pose, utkatasana. Strong in your legs, relaxing your shoulders. Pressing into all four corners of your feet and sinking a little bit deeper. Lengthen your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, high plank. Flow through your low plank. Upward facing dog or cobra. Roll over your toes to downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg up high. Roll out that right ankle. Get all those creaks and pops out, going both directions. And then step that right foot through to the top of your mat, rising up for warrior one. Your back foot's at a 45 degree angle, working your hips and shoulders square, sinking deep into your front leg. And then lower your hands down to the mat, step back to your high plank. This chaturanga is always optional. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Transitioning to the other side, inhale your left leg up high. Roll out that ankle. Going both ways. Back to neutral, step it through to the top, take your time. Rising up, warrior one, Virabhadrasana, strong in your legs, strong in your breath. Maybe sink a little deeper. And then lower your hands down. Step back to your high plank, flow through your chaturanga, low plank, up dog, downward dog. Find your breath. Gaze to the top of your mat. Walk or float your feet to your hands. Halfway lift. Fold. Bend your knees. Chair pose. Rise up. Sink low in your legs. Spark your fingertips. Lengthen your legs. Stand all the way up. Cactus your arms. Find a little back bend. Lift your heart up towards the sky. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to your downward dog. Lower down onto your knees. Open them out wide. Sit back, child's pose. Rising back up to your downward dog. Walk your feet all the way to the top, tip toes. Cross at your ankles, lower down to your seat, and then all the way down onto your back. Drawing your knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug. And then slowly lower your knees over to the right, lengthen through your left arm, and follow it with your gaze for a gentle twist. And then slowly draw your knees back to center. Give yourself a big hug and lower your knees over to the other side and gaze over your right arm. Draw your knees into your chest. 
Give them a nice squeeze. And then lengthen your legs out. Take up as much space as you'd like. Palms facing up, finding your final Shavasana. Releasing all tension from your body. Eyes are closed. Returning to your natural rhythmic breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll out your wrist and your ankles. Draw your knees back into your chest and rock onto your right side into a comfortable fetal position. Your right arm can make a little pillow underneath your head. Finding stillness. And then whenever you're ready, rising up to your comfortable seat. Reaching your arms up overhead and then drawing your hands into heart center. Taking a moment to remember your intention or dedication and sealing your practice. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.